welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, again, this is your host, Santos Cabrera. Next today, what I'm going to just to show you is the installed uh, echo or echo structure building operation. Okay, now the version of this is uh, I'm running now the building operation workstation 3.2. Okay, now guys, as you can see, this is the when you successfully installed your uh, system. Okay, so uh, basically there are four software that you need to install. First is the device administrator, then device uh, license administrator, workstation, then uh, the enterprise server. So you need those four uh, software so that you can uh, start creating or start configuring a BMS project, okay? Now, uh, actually, uh, once you successfully installed it and you are able to what you call this one, you are able to log in, okay? Now, by default, the log in, the, the username is admin and the password is admin also, okay? So it is admin and admin, okay? Then once you successfully log into the server, then you will be offered to change the default password, okay? So it's up to you to uh, use another password, but make sure you have to note it down because you know, uh, we cannot commit everything to our memory. You just jot it down on a piece of paper, then keep it so that you can check for it. Once you will have some problem uh, logging into your server. Okay. Now, actually, there are some problems sometimes when you are trying to log in, then there will be some error like uh, if the password is okay and the username is okay, then you will be able to log in. But Sometimes you will have an error like uh, cannot log into the uh, server. Okay, if you have a problem like that, meaning your uh, your server is not running. Okay, so what you can do is uh, let me show you something. Okay, now wait a minute. Okay, let me share and a new share. Okay, okay, share. Okay, so what I'm saying is this is the four software that you need to install. First is the device administrator, then the license administrator, then the workstation, then the enterprise server. Now, make sure you have the uh, demo license, okay? Then it should be valid because if not, then uh, you will not be able to log into the system, okay? So after installing all these uh, four software successfully, then before running the workstation, you need to uh, run the license administrator to be able to add the license. Now we are using a demo license from file, okay? So maybe I will try to show you this one. Just give me a minute. I will show it to you. Okay, but anyway, uh, you just run the installed uh, license administrator. Then from there, you can uh, add a license from file, okay? So now what I want to show you is another thing, okay? Now uh, let me go first to my, okay? So I will go to control panel, okay? Now, guys, as I said, if you have uh, a problem with the, if you have a problem with the logging into the server, okay, uh, go to uh, my computer management. Okay, where's my computer management? Okay, I will go to computer management. Computer management. So you have to go to computer management. Computer management. Okay, look for it. Okay, just a minute. Where's my computer management? Okay, great. Now let me computer management. Computer. Okay, computer management. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, let me share this screen. Computer management. This one. Share. Okay, so you have to go to the services and application, then go to services. Then, uh, okay, let me maximize this. Let me see if this is really 
Okay, let, I'm just trying to make sure it is being shared. Okay, now you go to the building operation. Now, actually, your building uh, operation enterprise server should be running. Okay, now if you're having problem in logging onto the server, all you need to do is check this one. Go to computer management, then go to the services, then check this enterprise server. If it is not running, then you have to start the services but if it start then it stop then you have a problem all you need to do is go to the enterprise server installation you you can reinstall the enterprise server then you go again you go back to this then maybe you can start it or maybe you will see uh, your server is already running so what is important uh, this building operation okay this one is running this one is running this one is running okay now this one, Enterprise Central, I think this one is uh, this is automatic, but it's not showing here running. But uh, this is what you're going to do if you have problem logging into the server, okay? So let me go back to my, uh, go back to my workstation, okay? So this is my workstation. Now from here, I need to, add the uh, new 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 okay now i need to this is our enterprise server okay from there you need to uh, add here the new server which is the automation server which i tried to uh what you call this one which i tried to um, configure or powered up in my previous tutorial okay so automation server Okay, so I will say create. Let me see if I can create this one. Okay, now the IP address, you need to put the IP address here. Okay, so I will try to put 192.168.1.99. This is the default one. Let me see. Okay, maybe the password here is admin, admin. Okay, if I will not be able to log into this one, then I need to create a new We will see. Do route and offline error again. Okay. okay, close. Okay. Now I think I need to configure the automation server. Anyway, I need to do something in that automation server because I was not able to log into it. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is uh, part two of my uh, series of um, video tutorial for building operation echo structure, the new uh, version of Snyder Electric Building Automation System. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay.